So this is the self-development with tactics. Book. This is going to be about Reddit, you know, and we're going to talk about some some questions, probably, you know, some questions from some random people. And this is what this episode is going to be about. And this is probably going to be really, really, really silent. See you after the intro. No, I don't know why. I really don't know why. But yeah, with that being said, hello and welcome back to the next episode of the Self Development with Tactics fucking podcast. I'm pumped. I am pumped, you know, because what we are going to go through today is going to be something a little tiny bit different. We have been doing it before, but it is still a little bit of a different thing. Um, But before I'm even going to go through this certain thing, I have to tell you that you can also listen to to this episode. So if you're just watching this YouTube video, please check out the link in the description because there is the link to the podcast site because you can also listen to this podcast obviously because this actually is a podcast and this is merely the video for the podcast but also for those people that are on the podcast and that that actually want to see the video please check out the show notes and there is going to be the link to the video as well hopefully at least you know it should be there probably but uh, yeah and yeah I'm really having a tight shirt on because I've been running before like actually an hour before and uh, I don't know I like that I like that tight shit. But yeah, as I haven't said, it is going to be about a new Reddit uh, site. Is it a site? I don't even know. And it is the um, Reddit self-improvement site, you know, because the self-help site, we have been on it and we've been talking about it and we have actually gone through some things there. And so therefore, I think that there is going to be new things to talk about on this Reddit site. So the first thing, how do I accept that all my years up to up until now, have been a failure. You know, first of all, I have to say that there's something really tough to say, I guess, you know, because the thing is, it's not, it's probably not the case. It really probably is not the case because there is always something we learn. And I mean, it's it's like, it's just good enough that you've learned and or that people have learned from their mistakes, you know, and have also just seen that the past years have not really been good for them, you know, because often it is also the case that people just don't realize that, you know, and they're just then moving on with their life like what it is and it's like it's fucked up you know it's fucked up what our psyche and what our mental game can do to us it's just really fucked up sometimes and and i I wouldn't necessarily say so because there's definitely things that you have learned just only the thing as i said that that you know and that you've recognized and understood that the past years have not been the greatest ones um but maybe there's even more about that like yeah it's 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 about anxiety and all those things and yeah, I, I still wouldn't say so. Like, now you're in the present, you know? And it is the present now. You can change something and you can also change something in the future, you know? But I would actually start today because the best day to start to do that was yesterday. And the second one is today. So please start today to just make your life as you would like to have it, as you would like to just live your life because why not? Why not? You know, what's what's uh, between you and your dreams, you and your capabilities and or once of doing that. The second one. I will improve and I'm going to draw. Hi guys, I'm going to draw for 100 days, minimum one hour per day. Please wish me luck. I'm eager to begin, so I'm done with done writing for now. Good luck, I remember even if less than an hour, any time spent drawing is reaching towards your goal. Definitely. And it is actually something that's particularly important, something particularly important to point out because he and or she, I don't know, is talking about doing something every day. And I've seen, and I've seen because I'm I'm also doing things every single day. The podcast, I'm doing it every single day. I'm designing some posts every single day, basically. And I'm really kind of also trying to do that because the podcast is something that I'm having to do every day and that I'm also choosing to do every day. In terms of designing posts, it is not just necessarily going to be always just every day that I'm doing that because, you know, on some days I do just not have to do that, you know, and therefore I'm just using the time then to do something different, to do something that's probably a little bit more smart to do just because, I don't know, if I'm having 50 fucking posts left in my queue and I just don't need them at this point of time, why would I then just create even more, you know, if I could just do something that I actually need to have up just at this point in time but yeah it is really important and i've also seen that it just improves you just improve you know by podcasting every single day my english just improved so dramatically 
uh, a year ago, because I've basically started a year ago, I have definitely not been able to speak so fluently like I'm able to do right now, because I'm doing it every single day, and up to this point, I have every single day pot podcast. I think, not, not really, you know, especially because I've been a week in Amsterdam with school, I think it's been like three weeks ago or two weeks ago, and there I have just pre-produced everything, and therefore I wasn't able to, to podcast while I was there, but... But yeah, like if you're doing it every single day, there's going to be improvement. Definitely. Just 100% there's going to be improvement. Like there's no fucking way around that. Show up for yourself in one small way each day. It will change yourself. Do you want to live a better life? Are you in the place you want to be? Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? I get it. I've been there. And because of showing up for myself each day in some small way, I'm on a way diff. I'm on a way different path than a few years ago. My life was tough since I was four years old and, and there's going to be a life story, I guess. But um, yeah, show up as yourself and also be proud of yourself. You know, you, you, because you can, you can be proud of yourself because we all have achieved something. We all have achieved something, you know. Even if it's like we have achieved to, to get out of our anxiety for one day, this is also just a pretty huge achievement because it's better than always being just crippled by your anxiety you know if you're just able to just do that for one day it's insane and you've achieved something and you can be proudly just showing up as yourself and you can proudly show that that you're able to do things like i don't know i do not also want to honeycomb everyone and anything you know this is also something that's not particularly right to do and also smart to do and whatnot because this is basically i would argue not really helping anybody but like we we can all improve first of all, and, but yeah, just be yourself, I guess, you know, it's just still not really being about oneself, but showing up for uh, ourselves, whatever it might mean, I actually don't know, whatever it might mean, but the thing is, it's step up proudly as you, and not as somebody else, as somebody that you are not, and, and also I think this is something that we all have to be honest with ourselves, with and or about who we actually are, you know, because, I don't know, like, a lot of people are trying to be someone they are not, you know, also just in terms of the job that they're doing, just for example, being an entrepreneur, not everyone is an entrepreneur. It is what it is. I am not an entrepreneur, I would argue. You know, I think therefore just even though having my own business and having my own shit might be pretty cool and whatnot. First of all, I think we all can learn stuff, but there are just people that are born a certain way. There are just people that are born and that are meant to be an entrepreneur. And I am not, you know, I'm definitely not that, you know this is not who I am, but some people are, you know, some people are meant to be an entrepreneur, and it is just really something that we all have to be honest about with ourselves, because there's no way around that, that the next one, let go, you can't control everything, which is particularly right, which is interestingly also something that Ben Horowitz, um, who is a pretty known coach in the Silicon Valley, and has been a coach for, I I'm not sure, but I would say Jeff Bezos and also Google, but I'm really not quite sure, you know, I might be mixing it up with another summary that we that we just went through on the podcast, but I'm really not sure, I'm really not fucking sure, but uh, he's definitely a coach, this is what I remember, and he's also written some books, and he's also a businessman and all those things, and he said that we can't control everything, which is definitely the right thing, like, and, and actually focusing on those things that you can't control is definitely bullshit, you know, why would you do that? There's no reason to do that, you know, and there's also no uh, actually, actually smart reason. There's just like, nah, just don't do that. <laughs> just don't do that. Just focus on those things that you're capable of changing, that you're capable of stimulating or manipulating, but really don't focus on these things that are just what it is, like the weather, uh, probably also other people to some degree, but different things. The last one, uh, the next one. Some really good advice I got recently. It's kind of obvious when you think about it really. But I had an appointment with a professional who told me uh, who told me good job on who told me good job on making small steps regarding exercise, eating and sleeping habits and reaching out socially. He explained negative feelings, thoughts and behavior all feed each other. Changing your feelings or thoughts is damn near impossible. Changing your behavior is hard but a lot easier than the other two. And if you change your behavior in a way that in ways that make you more proud of the of the steps you're taking, your thoughts and feelings about yourself will also grow to be more positive. So go with, do the thing you think would help small steps. For example, try to go exercise at least once a week. Doesn't matter if it's only for 10 minutes. Small steps are better than no steps. Go cook a balanced meal tonight. It will help. Try meditating for a couple of minutes each morning. I believe in you. It's actually a pretty nice message. And I also have to point out, doing something 
is better than doing nothing. Like it is obvious. The problem with obvious things is that it might not be obvious to somebody else. Only because something is obvious for me doesn't really mean that it is also something obvious for somebody else. Because we are all individuals, we're all just thinking in a different way and we're all seeing things in different lights and different ways and different uh, perspectives which is really good like it really is good like there's definitely upsides and downsides of that but um, I actually have to upvote those things I have to just um, do things I will improve actually all of them I guess or has there been like something that I really wasn't into but yeah small steps is better than no steps still you know we also there have to be somehow honest with ourselves and just that's just uh, what did I want to say I just was reading and thinking it's, it's never good idea <laughs> It's never a good idea to do that. Uh, I forgot it. Never mind. You know, it's probably not been such an interesting thing. Um, so extremely self-conscious that it's ruining my life. It's a really long one. Uh, first, I want to say I know my issues are internally, and I need therapy. I've been trying, uh, but on white. I've been trying, but on on whitelist for numbers, numerous people put on whitelist for numerous people. But just curious if anyone has done anything at home other than looking in the mirror and rec uh, reciting mantras that can help me. I took my boyfriend to my friend's party with me and there was this gorgeous girl there. She walked in and uh, definitely kept making eyes at him and he noticed. I could just tell his demon had changed and that he was not happy he was there with me anymore. But a week later we broke up. I can't help but keep thinking about this girl and that maybe he was into her and realized he didn't love me. I'm like obsessed with... The problem is something that I also really have to point out is that doing something like that, going through so many... I'm I'm actually upvoting that just because I wanna, uh, want other people to see that. S something that I'm really consciously trying to do is, is not surrounding myself with any negativity. With any negativity. Of course, there are going to be some negative things in your life. And there are also some negative things in my life that I, that I can't just push away and that I can't just run away from. But it's for me at least, and something that I've just uh, got to love and got to know and got to recognize, is that surrounding myself with a, not, with a lot of negativity, for example, just reading a lot of negative stories, just uh, reading a negative book, listening to negative music, also a really big point, you know, because music is something that really goes into your fucking subconscious mind, you know, and then it is fucked up. It really is fucked up. If you do that, it's, it's, uh, it's not good, at my point of view, like... It's problematic though. It's problematic though because just changing your taste of music just because I say that listening to some negative shit is really not good it should be actually what you're doing. Of course it is not easy and of course there are going to be some sad sounds, some sad uh, some some sad music which which you like just because the tonality is great, just because the singer is great, just because you're a fan of the singer and or the, the songwriter or whatnot. But it's really important and I really do just want to point that out that surrounding yourself with a lot of negativity is not going to lead you to just being way happier. Unless you're actually such a person that's, yeah, it's being happy by being surrounded by negativity, which uh, might also be actually the case, you know. It's uh, like we're all individuals. As I said, we all are. But please try to to eliminate the negativity in your life, whether it be just the, the things you're consuming, the people you're around with, whether it be your family or not, just limit the time. You don't, you don't really have to push people away. You don't have to hate people, but limiting the time you're just spending with them is actually also a pretty huge and also important step you could be taking. Uh, loving inappropriate situations. Loving in inappropriate situations. This is something that I know, and this is something that happens to me over and over again. Uh, right at this point in time, it's not that severe. You know, it's it's not such a problem, but it has been. I think it's it's been two, like one or two years ago. Like I was in class, and my head, I think it's called head teacher, but I'm not quite sure if it is. And my head teacher was just talking about something that's that's not really to to love about. It really is not. You know, it's been. It also has not been just something that's that's so so serious or something it's just been something quite serious like it definitely wasn't funny you know <laughs> this is the point that i'm willing to to make the thing is i just really had to laugh and i don't know why and this is also something that also that that, that also always happens to me when i'm just talking to my mother about something serious or she's just being like okay you have to do that and he's just she's just like um, not really happy with me and then i really also have to laugh and i don't know why I have to smile, I have to laugh, it is, everything is funny. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Maybe this is just my, my way to, to cope with those things. 
could also be the thing, you know, that I'm naturally just a happy person, but uh, sometimes it's really fucked up. But let's see if there's actually a story. I need help, here's the story. My problem is when I walk on the street and I see a disabled person, deaf or someone unusual, I start laughing like a kid. I know there's nothing funny about the situation and I feel really sorry for them, but as soon as I see a person like that on the street, I'm thinking to myself, Michael, there is nothing funny about this situation, don't you start laughing. As soon as I have this thought, my mouth instantly shapes into a grin and I have to stop myself from bursting in, bursting out laughing, which is something not possible. Again, I know this is a childish and not funny at all, at all and I do feel really badly after, uh, afterwards. I would think so, that this person is actually not feeling good about it. We do not love this, wasn't last... Uh, I don't think I'm an evil person. That's, the thing is, I don't know, and I'm just going to write something because I, I kind of want to, maybe this is helping. Do you know, like, please don't think about an elephant right now. It's kind of the exact same thing. Like, if you tell yourself that you should not be doing something, it's probably going to be the case that... I think this is actually something that's scientifically proven then, that uh, you're then just starting especially then starting to to smile when you're telling yourself not to smile no those things yeah you know this <laughs> just <said that. laughs> uh, this is just what i'm thinking about like of course when i'm telling you to not think about an elephant you're definitely going to think about an elephant just because just because uh like i hope that i'm going to 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 just write something afterwards i really hope that i'm gonna do that you know, I'm often saying, you know, also just uh, doing something into this description and whatnot, but in the end, I'm not doing that, and it is fucked up. I got rid of social media. Something that I'm also seeing more and more, I guess, uh, especially also on social media, you know, that social media is bad, and that you should just really uh, delete all your social media, all, all and everything that you're having, and I don't know. I don't know if this is going to make you happy, and if it is going to make you happy, then please fucking do that. Please do that. I don't know if it will. I don't know if it's actually changing something, you know. But if it is actually going to make you happier, then of please, please, of course, do that. But the thing is, I wouldn't demonize social media. Um, also, just because you can just stop using it, on the other hand, you know. And or just use it less and whatnot. But, but it is something that's definitely relatively a relatively difficult topic, I guess. Because it is something that's... that's that's pretty trendy, at least at my point of view, and I'm seeing it uh, even more often that people are deciding to to just delete their social media because they are wasting a lot of time on them. And I, I'm I'm not really doubting that. I really think, and I've also experienced it myself, of course, that I'm also wasting quite some time on social media sometimes. And um, like, yeah, you know, if it is something that is bothering you, please uh, stop it, please delete it, please do something about it. But I still really wouldn't demonize social media. Like it's still human behavior and it's still, I think, not the only the only way and or scenario where this happens just in terms of history and where it is going to happen. I think, I don't know if it was about watching TV. I guess it's uh, also been some things that's more elderly people have been struggling with as well but the thing is social media is just another kind of trigger i guess you know it's it's comparable to the tv it's maybe also comparable to just reading a book and whatnot but it's not the same you know it's just working also in a little bit of a different way but yeah i think it's actually going to be the end of the episode you know because i've went through a lot of things and we went through a lot of things and um like yeah I wish you the best health of happiness and also success. And I also hope that you're going to remind yourself when you're going to be remembered, which basically means your legacy because we can only change that by just being a nice person and then being remembered as a nice person. The only problem there is that there are 7.7 .7 billion people on this planet and there's going to be somebody that just hates you by nature. You know, it's going to be about them and not really about you. But yeah, three other questions that I hope that you're going to ask yourself are why are you here, what are you trying to change and what is bothering you the most. Those three questions are hopefully going to show you your purpose and maybe even a business idea. Since a lot of, since a lot of companies started out with fixing something that really pissed the founders off. And yeah, with that being said, I'll hopefully see you the next time. So please subscribe to the podcast and please subscribe to the YouTube channel uh, so that I'm going to see you the next time as well, you know, and that you're not able to or that you're not going to miss out on any value. Yeah, I'll see you the next time, hopefully.